Hello hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher Savannah who's here to help you learn Chinese the right way. I receive a lot of feedback from my students telling me they have a hard time understanding expressions from Chinese TV series. Sometimes is the natural speed is much faster than what you hear from your textbook. Sometimes it's the colloquial informal expressions we use in real life. So I decided to select some useful clips to help you learn Chinese with TV series. First TV show I selected is called Nothing But 30, 三十而已. This TV series is based in Shanghai. There are three girls who all reach 30 years old and face different challenges in life. The first girl is called Wang Manni. I'm Wang Manni. I've been in Shanghai for eight years. Who comes from a smaller town and wants to survive and settle down in Shanghai? She works as a luxury salesperson and has some issue with relationships. The second girl's name is Gu Jia, who founded a firework company with her husband, and she is now a full-time housewife. This is my home. Any thing, I have done it as a best, including this thing. The third girl is called Zhong Xiaoqin, who is a local Shanghainese girl. She doesn't have kids, but she later on faces some challenges with her marriage and having kids. The scene we are watching and learning in this video is between Zhong Xiaoqin and Wang Manni, who just met at work and became good friends. In this scene, they talk about their age and turning 30 and get to know each other better. Don't forget to grab your notebook and your pen because you need to take notes. All right, let's get started. We can first watch with subtitles at natural speed. You can also repeat this step several times before you move on to step two. Xiao Qing, 今年多大呀？我马上三十了。啊？那咱俩一样啊？真的啊？啊？我九月底生的，你呢？我七月。你还比我大呀？真巧。In step two, we're gonna listen to each sentence and slow down to listen to them so that we can hear each word clearly and separate it from each other. Xiao Qing, 今年多大呀？小青，今年多大呀？小青，今年多大呀？你 ，you， 今年 ，this year， 多 ，how， 大 ，old。Ya at the end of the sentence is a model particle. It occurs a lot in Shanghainese. This TV show is based in Shanghai. Characters in this TV show definitely speak Mandarin Chinese, but we can still spot some particles and some usages that are common in Shanghainese. Normally, we say 你今年多大了？你今年多大了？ L is a particle at the end of the sentence indicating already. Let's listen to it one more time. 小青，今年多大呀？我马上三十了。我马上三十了。我马上三十了。小青 then answers. 我马上三十了。我 I 马上 almost 三十 thirty. L indicates already. For L, you may hear it as L or L, or more toward L because colloquially sometimes we pronounce L as L. Let's listen to it one more time. I'm almost thirty. Ah, that we're the same. Ah, that we're the same. Ah, that we're the same. After knowing Xiao Qin is almost thirty, Man Ni is a little bit surprised. So she said, "Ah, this is like saying what with a little surprise." Na, 咱俩一样啊 Na means then. If so, 咱 is a colloquial version of we or us. 我们 equals 咱们俩 equals 两 plus a measure word. It's also a very colloquial way to express quantity too. For example, I have two cats. I can say 我有两只猫 Using 俩 would be 我有俩猫
一样 means the same. Let's listen to it one more time. Ah, 那咱俩一样啊，真的啊啊，真的啊啊，真的啊啊。小琴 responds, 真的啊 ，really? 真的 means real or really. A、uh, is usually included at the end just to make it sound more natural. And then Manny responds, "Ah,、uh, it's a very casual way to say yes." Let's listen to it one more time. 真的啊啊！ Uh, 我九月底生的，你呢？我九月底生的，你呢？我九月底生的，你呢 ？After Manny realized both of them are turning thirty this year, and then she started talking about what month they were born. So Manny says, 我九月底生的。九月 September. 九月底 the end of September. 九月初 the beginning of September. Here we have 是 something 的 sentence structure. Character 是 in this structure can be omitted, and it is actually omitted in our scene. Please find a link in my description box if you are not familiar with this sentence structure. When we use this sentence structure, we tend to describe or inquire about time, place. Is the manner or the initiator of an action that we know that already happened? The information we describe or inquire is placed after 是 and 的 is placed after the verb in a sentence. We can also think of the sentence structure as a way to draw our attention to the information that we place after 是 Going back to the sentence we have in this TV show, Manny says, "I 九月底生的九月底 is placed after the omitted 是 which is the information Manny wants to draw attention to." Let's take another example. Person A asks, "You 什么时候到的 B says, "I 是八点到的你呢 is a casual way to say how about you? What about you? Let's listen to it one more time. 我九月底生的，你呢？我七月。我七月。我七月。Answering Manny's question, Xiao Qin says, 我七月。Xiao Qin actually used the exactly same sentence as Manny. 我九月底生的，你呢？ Just with a different month, so she simply omit 生的 She just say 我七月 Let's listen to it one more time. 我七月，你还比我大呀！<笑>你还比我大呀！<笑>你还比我大呀！<笑> Manny is a little bit surprised that Xiao Qin is even older than her because Xiao Qin acts much younger than a thirty-year-old. Here, the key word is "be." We use "be" to form a comparative sentence. A B B plus adjective. Here, the adjective is "old." 你比我大 You are older than me. "Hai" here means even. Let's listen to it one more time. 你还比我大呀，真巧，真巧，真巧。And then last sentence, Xiao Qin says, 真巧，巧 coincidental. 真 means very, really. 真巧 what a coincidence. For example, if you go to somewhere and see your friend is also there, you can say, 真巧，你也在这儿。All right, this is all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumb up and comment down below and let me know if you like the format of this video or if there's anything you want me to include so that I can improve my videos in the future. If you still can hear every single word in this scene, please don't feel overwhelmed. Just go back and listen to it for more times. Repetition will help you get better at listening and speaking. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I have more videos coming your way. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. 再见。